What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are unboxing and installing this multi-purpose automobile armrest box. This is for a Corsa D. It goes from 2006 to 2014. You probably get it on some newer years as well. That's what it just says on the Amazon website. It's in the color black and it's a RAID model with USB. Not a lot of these come with USB, but this one's the upgraded version. So if we open this up now, you can see you're presented with this little tray here which the actual armrest slides into you have this part here that goes into the cup holder of the courser itself and then obviously here you have the main armrest itself and this has all the features on it and the actual armrest bit that you put your arm on so these are the instructions for anyone wondering how to install this and there's two pages but there you go that's page one and then if you pause the video and then this is page two and then obviously now we just need to unbox this here all you have to do is cut the tape obviously so just pull the tape back you have these little sticky things and then here you have the armrest itself it looks really nice the stitching is black and the leather itself is black i don't think this is real leather it doesn't smell or feel like cheap leather either and the material feels quite good on that and it turns into a cup holder. So if I was to put water in it, it would fit just like that, which fits pretty perfect to be fair. If you go around a corner though, I don't think it's gonna do much because I literally tap it and it's way in, but it's just another feature for it anyway. Just below, there is actually an ashtray for this. Also on the upgraded version, you get four USBs on the back so you can charge your phone for anyone in the back, but they also, have added three on the front as well. So anyone in the front, I don't know why you'd need three, but there's three there if you need it. And there's nothing to open on the bottom. But you have two compartments here. So you have the main bit that opens up like that and you can put your phone in it or you can lift it up. It comes with a USB cable itself and it comes with these screws. With this screw here and some little plastic thing. I don't know whether the plastic thing's meant to be in there, but we'll find out what that is later on. And yeah, you've got a bit of carpet there. I don't know, it feels really crap. It feels quite cheap, but it does the job. And then underneath is plastic. Um, and then obviously you can fold that back down. So you, if you're driving, you can literally just put your phone in there. And then on the top, you have this little lever there. If you pull that up, it releases that so you have two components and then that obviously goes in and out so if you were trying to get the right placement for your arm you could bring it out like that and then back as well so i'll give you a better example once it's installed but that is the armrest what we need to do is we need to go in the car we need to screw this down with the screws and then we need to put this in as well and then we need to slide this onto there and it should be all good another thing i want to mention about this usb is it's double-sided the exact same so it's two usbs at each side so the reason for that is once you've got a cigarette lighter in your car you need to plug this side into the cigarette lighter if i plugged this wire here into there like that and then i was to plug it this is just an example outside of the car just say that plug there was the cigarette lighter you would plug it in and then obviously now it lights up and you can see all four light up just to show you it works at the back there you go so that is what that usb is for so if you definitely want to use that when you get it unless you're not going to use the usbs but that's for that so when you're installing this on the car this way faces away from the handbrake if you had it that way it would be in the way of the handbrake so you want to make sure it goes that way but before we install that into the car that will just literally push through and i think that's what they're for i think they stick on the sides just so it doesn't rub and that it stays still and doesn't move around and this will go on that way around so it slides on the opposite way to where the handbrake is so you'd push it on like this basically so you'd slide it on that way instead of having it the other way where it slides on like that so you're going to be going towards the handbrake if that was installed already so now you just want to get a phillips screwdriver you want to get the screws they've provided and you just literally want to screw those in to all four of those holes there and that's all you've got to do <laughs> Right.
Right, so all four screws are now in place. So now this is ready to be installed on the car. Now, all we need to do is put that in the cup holder of the Corsa and slide on the armrest. So let's go install this. Right, so we're in the car now. This is the part that needs to go in the cup holder in the Corsa. And then, like I was saying before, that will just slide straight onto it. And I'll give you some examples now. To get this piece, you don't want to put it in that way because obviously it doesn't sit right. So you want to spin it around so it goes in place like that. So it should look like this. Then you get the armrest itself. And under the armrest, you've got these little rectangle squares with the black screws in next to the gold ones. And then slide this straight into there. So just like this. And then you just push it forward. Literally just like that. You can see the back here. And if you don't like it like that, you can pull it back. It's hard to do it with one hand, but you get you get what I mean. So you could have it like that. And then what you do is you need to plug in the USB and it will go from there straight into, into one of the USB cigarette chargers there, which goes into that. That's all you need to do. And then that will light up and you'll be able to use more USBs for your car. So again, there's a cup holder. There's the ashtray. That's part you open up and you can put your phone in. Underneath that, you've got the other space like I showed before. These bits here, you stick on the side of there. So once you put it in there, it can't rock about as much. It's like the items got thicker, but obviously it's just some rubber. So when you're going around corners, it's not shaking. It's an all right fitting. It looks like it'd be quite wobbly, but once the seats are back, I don't think it's going to be as bad. So this is what it looks like from the outside angle. And it actually makes it look so much cleaner inside. It matches everything. The chrome there with the chrome handbrake there. It is nice. Like, that is so nice to use. And obviously, flick that up. And it shoots out like that. So obviously now, if you were putting your handbrake up, it would be a bit difficult. But if you're coming to a stop, you just pull it back. And it's not too bad. It is quite weird with the handbrake it's so much smoother with the gears though like especially if you're driving you have it out and you're swapping like that it feels quite nice it feels a bit smoother but to be honest that is a nice fitment and it isn't too bad to be fair quality on the top is so soft and it feels nice if i was driving that's what it would be like <laughs> I just turn the electrics on on my car and you get the wire they provided all you need to do is just plug it into the cigarette lighter there and then the other end into the main box itself like that now it hasn't lit up so i'm going to turn the car on just to make sure it's working So I don't know why, but it wasn't working a minute ago, but I've swapped the lead over. So it does work with just the electrics on. So there are blue lights. Same again at the back. It would have been cooler if they all lit up around, but to be fair, it does look quite smart how it is now. So there is the upgraded version of the Corsa D armrest. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I do hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you all in the next one.